Hi, this is attorney Jamie Miller, and I'd like to welcome you to another Miller Minute. Today, we are going to talk about that ever pressing issue concerning student loans. Today, we have some breaking news. Um, as you know, uh, President Biden several months ago, via executive order, created the student loan forgiveness program that was going to forgive up to $20,000 of student loan debt. That was stayed by a federal judge weeks ago, but it just came out today that the United States Supreme Court in February is going to have oral arguments on whether it's okay for the Biden administration to forgive up to 20,000 in student loans. So February is gonna be the big month for that. Stay posted, we'll keep you up to date on that, but I just wanted to get you that information. But I wanted to talk to you about the other breaking news of, of the day. About a week ago, two weeks ago, we received information from the Biden administration that offers a new path to discharging student debt and bankruptcy. So how did this happen? Well, the, the discharging student loans and bankruptcy has been a problem for a long time and have been a challenge, but it looks like the Justice Department and the Education Department have come together with new rules and new guidance on how to discharge student loans. So to give you a little history, getting rid of student debt in bankruptcy now is nearly impossible. It's really hard. Unlike credit card bills or medical bills and other consumer debt, student loans aren't automatically wiped away in bankruptcy. Borrowers are required to file a separate lawsuit to try to get rid of the student loans. So if you file a chapter seven bankruptcy, for instance, your student loans are not gonna be dischargeable unless you file a separate lawsuit in the bankruptcy court seeking the dischargeability of those student loans. So unlike the discharge of medical bills or credit card bills, utility bills, which are automatically discharged with your bankruptcy filing, to discharge student loans, you gotta take that additional step to file a lawsuit against your student loan lender to discharge those student loans. This can be stressful, it can be costly, and it's notoriously difficult to meet the strict legal test to succeed and get rid of the student loans. The current law is, is guided by something called the Brunner test. So the Brunner test, so if you file this lawsuit in the bankruptcy court, the judge is going to look at your petition and say, is it unlikely that you are gonna be able to pay your student loan debt in the future? Have you made a good faith effort to pay back those student loans? And is your situation likely to persist for a significant period of time during the repayment period? So essentially some courts are taking the step that a borrower of a student loan to discharge a debt in bankruptcy has to show almost certainty of hopelessness to discharge a student loan. So bottom line, and what I'd like to emphasize by just kind of talking about where we're at now, is that discharging student loans in bankruptcy is really hard. So the new guidance that just came out a couple of weeks ago from the Department of Justice outlines a better, fairer, and a more transparent process for how student loan borrowers can discharge student loans in bankruptcy. This new process is going to allow the, the Justice Department attorneys to more easily identify cases in which they can recommend or allow the discharge of student loans to people that file for bankruptcy. Under these new guidelines, student loan borrowers will complete what's called an attestation form. This form is going to give the information to the government that's going to help them determine whether or not you qualify for a student loan discharge in bankruptcy. So if you meet certain requirements, including having expenses that exceed your income, so if at the end of the month, you don't have enough money to meet your obligations, you'll be able to meet that test. 
the government lawyer is going to recommend a full or partial discharge of your student loans. So in addition to considering the income and expense equation, they're going to take into consideration your age. They'll take into consideration whether or not you got your college degree. So did you go to an online school, for instance, that went out of business or that you were unable to get your degree? They're going to consider whether or not you have a disability or some sort of chronic injury. They're going to see if you've had a, protract, a protracted history of unemployment. And they're also going to consider whether you've made a good faith effort to try to pay back the student loans. This is all very good news because the standard to get rid of your student loans in bankruptcy has dramatically been lowered, which is great. It's going to help a lot of people. Now, the pause on student loan payments, as you may know, has been extended to June of 2023. So this means if you have federal student loans, the government is not going to attempt to collect those student loans until after June of 2023. Keep in mind that even though you're not paying your student loans, the interest is still accumulating on those student loans. But I can't emphasize to you enough how important it is to deal with those student loans today. Give us a call at 414-336-7569. I will personally, or one of my lawyers, will personally evaluate your situation and give you an honest decision on where you stand with your student loans. And if you currently, under this new guidance, will qualify discharge those student loans and move forward to a better credit improved life so you can get back on your feet and get your credit score up to a 720 and never have to worry about those student loans again. So give us a call 414-336-7569. We look forward to helping you.